Welcome everybody. Today I'm doing a review on the Wagner Flexio 590. Now this is just a, this is a kit, a Wagner, basically an HVLP spray kit. It's got a couple different guns. And a buddy of mine bought one and I was, you know, a little apprehensive, but I tried it and I just had to do a review because I was so impressed with this system that I wanted to bring it to you guys. Perfect for the DIY guy or somebody at home that can't afford a really good air compressor and a $200 spray gun or whatever it is. And for all the little projects that you have around home, this system is just perfect. So I'm going to do a bit of a demo. Uh, we're going to paint a door with a with the uh, smaller gun, just to show that it can be done, because we had to try it. And but first of all, I'm going to do a little demo on the larger gun, and I'm going to give you some of the uh, features that I really like about it. All right. Now in the kit, we come with the. Uh, the little larger gun here, this is what you're going to use for some of your thicker stuff like your latexes and or you know where you want a little larger pattern to paint your house, your deck, your fence. Perfect. The smaller gun is what you're going to use for finishing. So some of your thinner materials like um, you know your varathines and uh, oil finishes, anything that's a little bit thinner. Uh, the only thing that you really can't do with this system is lacquers because you know the parts are all made out of plastic and lacquer and plastic don't really go well together so it may end up you know wrecking I don't know I never tried it this is your blower here now this is a nice system and by the way you know Wagner's not sponsoring me or anything like that but I am impressed. So this is a blower and so a lot of volume comes out of here. So this is a true HVLP which is a high volume low pressure system and normally if you had to buy a nice system you'd have a you know a blower about this big long hose. Professionals use that but for the homeowner this is perfect. I'm going to plug it in You can see if you just pull the trigger, it blows up a lot of air. Now, the 590 has a variable speed. Now, if you're doing a little bit more finishing and you're pretty particular about your spraying, I would suggest the, the variable speed. Um, the more speed you have, like the more air flow, the more atomization you're going to get, but the more overspray you're going to get as well. So you can turn that down. If you really just got a real fine little spot, you don't want to get too much overspray, but you're not going to get the atomization. And there's always that little fine spot. And if you just have high and low, you might not be at that spot. So that's why I like the variable speed on this. Now I've got a little bit of water in here. I did a little prepping before. Basically, the system, you just pop it in like this. Oh, it goes this way. Clicks in, you're ready to go. I don't know if you can see this. But I'm going to do a little demo on a piece of uh, drywall. So you can see it. Well, that doesn't work out very good. Can't really see it on drywall. Anyway, I think you can see it. Now I've got this set at about seven. Now if I come down to two, you can see that it just you can see it spitting out goblets of water. 
you fire it up a little bit more, you can see it atomizes a lot better. You can see the difference when you add a little more uh, volume to it. Now in this particular one, you got a couple more, on a larger one, you have more um, when it comes to adjustments. That gives it a little wider. You can adjust it so it's a little smaller. That's pumping out a lot of uh, a lot of material. On the back side, another thing that I like about it is it kind of controls your trigger, how far your trigger pulls back. So the lower you have it, the less material is going to come out. And let's say you're doing a fence and you just want to get her done, you can just, you know, pound the old chain to her. Very impressive. I've done a couple doors with this, and you just you fly them off. And that paints the door in no time flat, and it atomizes it enough that it will prevent the, you know, the runs, of course, you know, you've got to make sure that you, you've got to be fairly confident to paint a door with uh, latex, but it does a really nice job, trust me. Mixing up a little bit of primer, I thinned it just a little bit, but I've kept it fairly thick. I'm just going to see how this is going to work out with this gun. Using a larger one here now. pretty good. Now this is a way thicker than I can spray with my conventional gun and an air compressor and it went through there no problem at all. So it, that would react be, basically be the same as uh, shooting some latex paint through there. So yeah another example of the uh, power of this Wagner sprayer. I like it. Now I gotta clean it up just a little bit of spraying but that's okay. Anything for a demo. So I'm just going to demo the smaller gun and we're doing this pocket door. So I'm just going to tack it off. We've got it lightly sanded with some 220. We're just going to do it right in place. Now the big, we've done some doors with the, the bigger uh, gun and does an awesome job, but a little bit more overspray. But today we're going to try the little gun out. All right, we got her all tacked off. Now the little gun here, well, we're, we're using it because it just you get a little less overspray with it and it's, it's going to take you a little bit longer because less paint comes out. Now on the gun, I've got it set for about six and a half. And the more air you go that goes through, the more atomization you're going to get. So you're going to have to kind of play with it. Now we're using a latex semi-gloss and that needs to be thinned a little bit. You just can't pour that out of a can and expect to spray it. So I've thinned it down a little bit. You're gonna to have to kind of play with that. And when it starts spraying good for you, you're on the mark. All right, let's see how this one's gonna work out. Basically when you pull the trigger, everything fires up and you're good to go.
Now the nice thing about spring is we just need to let this set up a little bit and then we can hit her with uh, another coat. And then you can see my overspray is fairly minimal and there's not really much in the air here at all. So far so good. I like it. Okay, we're ready for the second coat. It's uh, The paint is flashed up. We're all good. And I've actually turned it up a little bit more, all, almost to max. So we're going to get a little bit more atomization. I think it's going to work a little better. Just looking at the uh, finish here, it's the next uh, day, and the finish is just wonderful. The gun did a beautiful job, and that's with uh, latex. So very, very happy how it turned out. This is the back side. Now this one here I thinned it a little bit because I always spray my uh, my varathanes, but it hasn't been used in a while, so it's got some cooties in there. This is my, one of my favorite features of this system. Very well designed. Lay it down and it sits there. This is level with that. All right, I'm all set up. Now on this little guy, you have a dial right here. And you can set that dial so that your trigger doesn't go back too far and send out a lot of material. So I've got it set up so that I've got a little thinner stuff in here, so I don't need to have a lot of material coming out. If you're painting a door, um, like in my demo, you're going to see I need a lot of paint coming out of there. So I've got this set so the trigger goes back all the way. But I clearly want a little bit more control. So I'll set up here. Hopefully, I got enough paint in here or enough clear. Yeah, that did a nice job. You'll have, to, uh, you'll have to find out what works best for you, but this put on a very thin coat on. If you um, want it thicker, you just go a little slower, but you're in a little less control. Remember, whenever you're spraying, you spray till it's nice and shiny, then you move on. Don't overdo it or you're going to get it run. That looks really good. This is just a scrap piece. If I was doing a piece of furniture, it would be a little different. Play around. You may have to set it so you've got a, you can work a little quicker. If you've got uh, more material coming out. Or if you want to go a little slower, spin this out so there's less material coming out. Thumbs up. Worked out really good. I like it.
play around on this other side here. Let's see if we can see the pattern a little bit better here with the black. Pretty nice pattern. That's just a small gun. All right, we can't do a review without talking about the negatives. So, I think my biggest negative with this system is just the weight. You got your blower, and when this pot is full of paint, it gets pretty heavy. You know, you're on the ladder and you're painting your house. You know, you may have to switch over to your left hand or do whatever you have to do. But still, for something that's compact and works as good as this, it's a pretty small drawback. Now, the next thing that can happen to you, and will happen, is when you're painting, when this, after you do your coat, you stop, you get a little bit of paint buildup on your tip. And you gotta keep your tip clean. So basically, what I do is carry around a little toothbrush just give it a little wipe down, that way it's going to operate perfectly for you all the time. Cord wise, there's not much difference between a cord and a hose. A cord is actually maybe a little lighter than a hose, depending on what type of hose you have. The, the big benefit for me is you can go anywhere with this. If you've got a generator, you can just fire up, paint a fence on a south quarter if you really wanted to. So, I don't think that the negatives are that negative. Clean up is uh, the latex. Just using a little water here. I've rinsed this up once already. But you can still see there's quite a bit. And then I just use a toothbrush. Clean her all up. Now, of course, if you're using oils, you would uh, use a mineral spirit. I'm just going to spray it and run some water through it. And that's all there is to it. Now if you're really worried about Cleaning all this stuff up and the paint has been dried, you can actually use a bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, if, as long as it's, it's uh, water-based, and uh, that'll come right off. Okay, got her all cleaned up. Looking good. So, the system, I just, I love it. It's a great system. From where I'm from, she's 200 bucks. And you can't buy an air compressor or a gun, anything for $200. On here too, 
course, you know, you're going to be spraying, and what's going to happen here is you're going to uh, uh, get a bunch of overspray in. There's a couple filters in here. Make sure that you uh, take them out, blow them out. Uh, when you buy the kit, they provide a couple extras. Very important. Maintain your stuff so that it works properly. And if it doesn't work properly, then you're not happy. Two thumbs up for the Wagner 590.